Hi, I'm Adam Broadway, and in this tutorial we'll walk through the Business Catalyst site creation within Dreamweaver CS6 and go over the cool ways that Dreamweaver and Business Catalyst work together. In Dreamweaver CS6, Business Catalyst is fully integrated. There's no additional BC extensions to install. You can create a hosted Business Catalyst site in a few ways. From the initial splash screen using the Business Catalyst site option. From the site menu, select New Business Catalyst Site. From the Manage Sites dialog, if you already have sites hosted on BC, then use the Import Business Catalyst Site option. For first time users, the easy way to create a site is using the Get Started button on the Business Catalyst panel. Sign in with your Adobe ID or create an Adobe ID if you don't already have one. The benefit of this is the unified Adobe services and Creative Cloud access you get from one login account. Choose a name and URL. If the URL is already in use, you can change to something else. And please note, when you choose to go live with this site, you can also link your client's unique domain names. The country, data center and time zone will be auto-detected, but you can change these options. Now click Create Free Temporary Site. You'll notice in the lower part of the panels that the site was downloaded locally. Let's open up one of the pages. Notice how the Modules panel in BC gets populated with different BC features you can add. Now depending on which hosting plan you're using, you'll see more or less options available in the Business Catalyst panel. Upgrading site plans will activate more functionality to insert into your client's site. Clicking on the Admin link will take you to the Business Catalyst Administration panel for this particular website. Some functionality, such as Web Forms, Menus, Ad Rotators, Catalogs and Products, will require you to set up inside the BC Admin for this site before they become available for insertion from the Dreamweaver Business Catalyst panel. Back in Dreamweaver, let's add one of the e-commerce products by going e-commerce products. Click on specific product which retrieves the catalogs from the site. Choose a catalog from the drop down and then choose a product for that catalog. Notice module preview which shows how the product will look on the site. We can edit the HTML for this layout later. Click on insert. Another cool new feature is code completion. If you prefer to hand code, you can start typing in, open curly brackets, module underscore, and you'll see the code completion occur. A list of all the valid code hints are provided for your selection. After inserting and selecting the module, notice the difference between the code view and design view, the raw module code and the way it will be rendered on the page. Select the module and notice the new BC Properties panel in the lower part of the page. And notice the file path for the module layout template is also shown so you can go directly to the files assets panel and also load it from there. Selecting edit template will take us to the layout of the module we selected and we can add data specific for this layout using the data panel. These data tags are dynamically populated based on the specific template you've selected. Let's add a buy now button and then put this file live. You'll also notice the related files link in the upper part of the layout. So we can see a list of all related files that are used by this layout. I hope this helps get you started.